Hey everybody, Edwin the Magic Engineer here, and uh, I'm here in my garage with my BRZ, and I wanted to share with you guys a really funny story that actually happened. Um, when I first bought the car at the Subaru dealership, the, the license plate did not show up on the front of the car. It was just nice and clean like this, which I actually really like. But I bought the car in Oregon, and in Oregon you're required to have a license plate on the front of your car. And so when I asked the guys at the Subaru dealership, can I get the license plate holder, they were saying, oh, you don't really need it. You know, you can just drill holes on the front of your car. And I was like, what? Drill drill holes on the front of my car? N no, I'm not going to do that. That seems pretty redneck. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So um, I went back and forth with these guys for like two weeks trying to get the license plate holder. And finally, they gave me one. And uh, as you can see, there's like a nice curvature on the license plate holder that's supposed to mount like right on the front of the car and kind of go underneath it and stuff. So they finally gave me one, but then they still said you got to drill holes to actually mount it right where the actual uh, screw holes are. But I still, I, don't, I didn't want to do that because especially like if, if there's times where I want to do like something cool and take off the front and like actually like just... See the car like this without a license plate on it? I wanted, I didn't want to see holes in it. That, looked, that sounded terrible. So I looked on the BRZ forum, and it turns out there, there's a, a lot of really passionate guys on the BRZ forum. They love their cars, right? Now, one guy on there had this idea to actually post uh, an image of uh, the magnets that he had actually put on the inside of his car so you could actually mount your license plate with magnets, and you didn't actually have to actually drill any holes in anything, and then you could just pop it right off later on if you wanted to. And the place that he showed to place them was about here and right here on the actual car. So I uh, I did it actually. I took off the whole front of the car. This whole front uh, entire molding piece came off. And you see this line that goes like this and follows around? This whole piece came off. And I'm gonna put a picture online right now so you guys can see what that actually looked like. Now so you can see the styrofoam bumper on the front and everything else is removed. And then, I flipped the thing around and I used epoxy resin to glue down two neodymium magnets to the inside of the bumper. And then I used Gorilla Tape to tape them down really good so they're like really secured, right? Then I put the whole thing back on and I took the license plate and I put two other neodymium magnets in the license plate right where the screws were supposed to be. So there's four magnets in total, right? And now you can just take the license plate holder and you can just go right on the front of the car. It just stays on there pretty solidly. It's, it's never actually fallen off. So that actually worked really well. And I was really happy with it. And now if I want to like, you know, just take it off to take it like a nice picture of the car or if I want to post something online and I don't want people to see, you know, what my license plate number is, I can just do that, right? So uh, I'm much happier with that actual solution. And anyways, um, I also, yeah, you see, I put this paper on here because I didn't want to expose my license plate number, but you know what? What the heck? Let's just do it, right? Let's just, let's just take this off, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, fine. I'm kidding you. <laughs> I'm not going to show my license plate online. Anyways, you guys, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you had a great day, and please uh, like and subscribe if you can. Thanks. Bye.